So apparently we got some new drama ahead. And let's just say this one is different this time. Given the fact that we had some video game dramas in the past. And there's just as crazy as then the T channels. So yeah. Erot X Unlimited Production turns on Kids Move over his frustration with 343 Industries. And I think this has a lot to do with the Xbox fanboys and their delusional rants about games and all that nonsense. And I feel like they're the ones that are really delusional or just don't really understand certain aspects of the game industries of how certain things are done and how it's supposed to be done. So my thing with this whole thing is just if you want to criticize a company, why don't you do it yourself and show them what you're really made of? But I will guarantee you if you go up to the company and you show them what your frustrations are and if they ask you, can you do it? They're going to probably think you have the potential to do it. Showing them how it's done. But apparently... <sighs> Once you come to your realization that you made a big mistake by running your mouth and try to call out a company and thinking that you could do better than them, then it's obvious to me that you shot your foot in the mouth. Here we go. Well, 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 E Rock X is at it again. Alongside with Unlimited Production One. And all of his Xbox fanboys. Yeah, friends. I was right. So, if you guys don't know what's been going on, let me give you the rundown. Kid Smooth, who is a big time Xbox fanboy, is extremely frustrated with what 343 Industries have been doing with Halo Infinite as of late. For example, there will be no co op in the main campaign at launch, oh. meaning that this game will re be released in complete and then they have once again delayed it to december of 2021 basically disqualifying itself of being a game of the year contender which is a shame considering that halo infinite had a very easy competition to win game of the year but it looks like it's not going to happen me personally 343 is like the phoenix sons of gaming they had the easiest road to a championship and failed miserably at it. But, so he's extremely frustrated and made a tweet saying with Gears and Hibernation, Forza the best in the class is just a racing game, Halo Infinite is dead on arrival. E-Rock, Unlimited Production 1, he bought Sega Man, and all these dudes had a nuclear meltdown. And they all have turned on Kid Smooth, going as far as calling him a fake neutral gamer. A fake neutral gamer. Are you kidding me? This is Kid Smooth. This is one of the biggest Xbox fanboys. And they have turned on him. Why though? Simple. Because Kid Smooth is criticizing Microsoft. And e -Rock X and Sega Man and all these dudes, they cannot stand when people criticize Microsoft. We all saw it when Microsoft tried to rip people off with Xbox Live Gold. And how Sega Man and e -Rock were instantly defending them. We all saw what they did to Iron Wolf, which, by the way, thank God Iron Wolf was okay. He suffered COVID and almost died from it. Mm. When Iron Wolf decided to like PlayStation games, they all turned on him. They threw him under the bus. They did the same thing with Kaleidoscope. It's pretty obvious why they're doing this. It's because they are so partisan with their piece of plastic that if anyone even in their Xbox fanboy group criticizes Microsoft they will instantly turn on them that's insane man and I'm not even surprised at this it doesn't surprise me because this is again this is E-Rock so 
I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe, who knows, maybe Kids Move, maybe they'll eventually apologize to Kids Move, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. I really don't know. They've been on a tear with Broken Games HD. They've been making non-stop videos. So here's my question, E-Rock. Aren't you playing Xbox? Aren't you playing it right now? You're playing Psychonauts 2, which is funny. You're playing Psychonauts 2. Didn't you make fun of people, PlayStation fans, for playing Buck Snacks? But it's fine for you guys to play a platforming game? Gee, I wonder why is that? This is Video Game Motor 58. Sign out. Peace. You know, this one is really interesting because I feel like sometimes when certain fanboys turn on another fanboy that likes other gaming consoles, especially when they criticize a company that they currently love and love with, you know, they turn on that one person. So whichever fanboy comes to mind, they really don't like when people criticize a company that they're so-called fans of. And this one... I guess you can call it a switcheroo effect when one person was a fanboy then all of a sudden they wanted to try something different they turned on that person so it's obvious to me that kids move you know kids move wanted to move on from other consoles and it's just like how VGL was at the time when he you know was an, an ultimate Nintendo fanboy. The thing is, you know, once he transitioned from that into loving all video game consoles, and he became one of the most beloved people in the retro gaming community. So, I think for this case, Kiss Move, I think he's pretty much on a transitioning side from being a fanboy to just loving other consoles. It's a possibility that he could you could end up joining the gut. You know when they say what stays in the dark always comes to light. And it's pretty obvious, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Shout out to VGL58 for making this video. I just want to get my thoughts on this, though. I think this whole video game drama between... It's, 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 it's ridiculous, so... Y'all want the original video, it would be in the description, well, in the description below. So, yeah. I'll catch you in my next content.